I'm so introspective. You know, there's a lot to there's a lot to unpack with this show. It's it's all a metaphor. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lachlan from The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, and I'm at 17 to fill some plot holes. I am a very critical and judgmental person, so this game is perfect for me. <laughs> uh, Theo's a good person, I guess. I think people are very quick to judge, and I think maybe Harvey and Roz had their own little agenda going, but I think Theo probably relates to Sabrina a lot with the whole like, half this, half that, I don't know who I am thing. So maybe Theo saw through that and just really wanted to see the good in Sabrina. Mmm, the thing is, she doesn't. <laughs> I'd like to think that Dorothea is like a ghostly apparition or something, but then that other like black mirror part of me really wants it to be that Theo's just going crazy and is like projecting my gender problems in the form of like this, this crazy lady from like the 1700s. I'm just as intrigued as you are to see where, where they go with that. <laughs> hard work and determination. Also because they can't kick him off because then it'd be discrimination. <laughs> Sabrina's just got a lot to unpack. Like Sabrina's just got more than, than one card could handle. Whereas my problems were very obvious and clear to everyone except Theo. It's not, it's, it's, it's quality over quantity, I think. <laughs> I think they turned Harvey into the Mandrake first, right? I think that Harvey was the first person to get to get Mandraked. And I think I was the last person, wasn't I? Something like that. I think it makes sense. It probably makes sense. Religion's weird. <laughs> Who knows? So Sabrina could win, clearly. That, that's like a that's like a different level of like crazy. Like sure, Sabrina's a witch, but if I'm just like hallucinating this crazy lady from old farm country, like that seems a little more specific and weird. Like I'm supposed to be the normal grounded person here. I can't go like getting all supernatural on them. <laughs> I don't know his motivations. I don't know, I don't know what his agenda is. Maybe he just, Maybe he wanted them to show up. I don't know. Maybe he wanted to like save the school so everyone would worship him and not Sabrina. I don't know. He's a weird guy. He's got strange motivations. <laughs> because the Dark Lord's whiny and Nick has like studied containment the whole time. It's also because the human body itself, according to Wordwell, is like the ultimate cage. So maybe it has nothing to do with Nick. Maybe it's just the fact that, I don't know, humans are really stubborn and don't like letting go of things. <laughs> I'm so introspective. You know, there's a lot to, there's a lot to unpack with this show. It's, it's all a metaphor. <laughs> it's cause he, he's, he's been training her to like lead, right? So he's, he's gonna, he's gonna retire and, and she's like the heir, maybe. I don't know, it's just they, they have weird morals in hell. <laughs> All I know is that Wardwell was very upset about it. <laughs> I hope that answered some of your questions. I, I don't know myself. Thank you for playing with me and feel free to check out Chilling Adventures of Sabrina Part 2 on Netflix. For more videos like this, feel free to subscribe to Seventeen's YouTube channel.